What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about gold and what price I believe it's worth buying in at. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, posting a brand new video tonight. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have a bunch of different gear that has been up for grabs, but we just brought back the Stack and Don't Look Back silver and gold t-shirt and hoodie and the brand new DYDSS Maple, which was obviously inspired by the Canadian Maple Leaf. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I didn't necessarily want to post two gold videos back-to-back. -back. I just posted one yesterday talking about how the spot price of gold has dropped to just about $1,500. Now, I'm filming this video moments after I posted that video, so by the time you're watching this video, it was filmed yesterday. As I'm filming the video, I have no idea what the current spot price is. For me, it's $1,508. For you, it might be something different. Which, by the way, speaking of that, head on down to the comments and let me know what is the current spot price as you are watching this. Let me know the date and the time you are watching as well, because who knows, maybe you're watching this video months after I posted it, and I think it would be kind of cool if we comment the current spot price and the day and the time, because we're all watching at different days, we're all watching at different times. Anyway, I wanted to use today's video to answer a question that was asked in the comment section of yesterday's video where I was talking about the spot price. The question is coming from Caitlin, and it was something along the lines of, what is the price that I would start buying gold again at, and I never actually necessarily stopped buying gold. I have obviously been primarily focusing on silver for the last year and eight months, the entire time I have been stacking for, but I have been picking up little bits of gold every now and then. Obviously, I have a little one-tenth of an ounce gold eagle sitting here in front of me. I have a few little pieces of gold, and for my own reasons, I prefer fractional gold, tenth of an ounce, quarter ounce, half ounce, over full ounces. I've talked about that in the past. It's personal preference. There's a lot of people out there who have, you know, their own personal preference. They prefer one ounce or higher pieces of gold. I prefer fractional. But the question is, what price is gold worth buying at? I'm assuming in my opinion. Or at what point would I, quote-unquote, buy gold? I don't like to say buy gold, but that was the question. I answered the question very, very briefly by responding to the comment, but I thought it would make for a good video. And everybody watching, you're more than welcome to answer the question yourself in the comment section. What spot price would gold need to be at for you to convert your dollars into? Let us know in the comments. For me personally, I would absolutely get some gold at today's spot price, which is $1,500 roughly. Would I be overly enthusiastic about it? Nah, not really. I would prefer to get gold between 1000 and 1400 bucks. Meet in the middle. Ideally, I would like about... 1250 1275 I think that's a fair price. Obviously, the cheaper the better. If I can stack more gold for a smaller dollar amount, I would have no complaints. But I was pretty satisfied with 1250 1275 even 1300 even a little bit higher than that. And I get a lot of comments on my videos, not just about silver and gold, but, you know, platinum, palladium as well. And the comments say things along the lines of, I'm going to wait until spot price drops to blank. And to tell you the truth, there's probably a bunch of old videos of me saying the same thing, but I've recently kind of been thinking about it. And I kind of changed my mind a little bit. Instead of waiting it out, I think I'm just going to continue. But I'm going to slow it down a little bit. 
In my opinion, and from my perspective, keep in mind I'm not a financial advisor, so make your own decisions and do your own research. I'm just documenting through video what I do, what I have done, and what I plan on doing in the future. This is all speculation and my opinion. I believe, at the current spot price, I'm going to continue stacking fractional pieces of gold on the occasion. I want to remain consistent, even if that means I have to slow it down a little bit. So when the spot price is a little bit higher than what's preferred, I'm still going to stack, but slower than usual. Keep in mind, I stack gold very, very slow because my primary focus is silver. I stack as much silver as I possibly can, as aggressively I can, as I can, and, fre and as frequently as I can. It's silver, 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 all day, every day for me. But gold, I like to pick up a little piece of gold every once in a while, even if it's every other month or every few months or whatever. I don't want to sit here and wait it out. Current spot price is 1500 bucks. If I were to sit and wait it out for gold to go back down to, let's just say, $1,300, I'm going to sit here and wait for $200 to be shaved off. There's no guarantee. There's, it's not promised. It's not a sure thing. We might never, ever, 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 ever see $1,300 gold again. Granted, I believe that we will. We probably will, but it's not promised. There's no absolute guarantee. There's no fortune teller. There's no guy with a crystal ball saying, oh, gold is going to be this very specific price by this very specific date. Same goes for silver. You get a lot of people commenting saying, oh, silver is going to be $27.13 by the third week of February of 2027. People say these random prices and these random dates, and I'm still trying to figure out where they're getting their math from, but it is what it is. So the answer to the question is, I would absolutely stack gold at today's spot price, which as I'm filming is about $1,500. I would, but I would also prefer to stack gold between 1000 and 1400 bucks. I know that's a pretty big stretch, but anything in that range, I've been pretty satisfied with stacking gold at those prices. So... Let me know in the comments section down below what would the spot price of gold need to hit for you to stack gold or for you to be stacking more gold than you already are. And also let me know, are you going to wait it out until silver or gold hits a certain price, whether it's up or down, in order to stack more of it? Or are you just going to slow it down when the price is an ideal and remain as consistent as possible. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for weekly videos. Just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, and the brand new saving money building credit, and starting a podcast video, which is I, I posted last Sunday. And I'm posting another video tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's already premiering on the second channel, so go check it out. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Obviously, we have a bunch of gear that has been up for grabs for a very long time, but we just brought back the Stack and Don't Look Back t-shirt and hoodie available in silver and gold. And, of course, we just recently dropped the brand new DYDSS Maple, which was clearly inspired by the Canadian silver and gold maple leaf. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the current spot price of gold? What is the current spot price of gold as you are watching the video? You might not be watching it the day that I posted it. Maybe you're watching it a few days later or a week or two later or six months or a year and a half later. Let me know what is the current spot price of gold, the date and the time that you're viewing this video. And also let me know, 
What are your thoughts on waiting for spot price to hit a certain number in order to start or stop stacking? Do you do that? Is that something that you used to do? Or do you just slow it down when the price is up, but you try to remain consistent? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.